Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be covering the back uh, building details. So we're going to be creating these fence over here on the back, this fence over here. I believe that this one is some kind of a pathway over there to some subway. After that, we're going to be adding some windows and basically that's it. Okay, so let's get to work. By the way, this is a tutorial series that's going to help you make this short film animation based on a real reference, this Japanese street. All right, so let's get down to it. So let me go back over here and I'm going to select my building. Hit Alt A to deselect everything. L to select these two units. Hit B separate selection. After that, let me switch or change this the origin to the middle just like that. And let's add the bevel. Also over here, instead of having it disconnected, I would like to let's just delete this face. And I'm going to grab this one. Hit E, exit it outside and check this one. Hit E and snap it to that location. Good. After that, I'm going to increase the segment to 3 just three and let's decrease this value way down something like 0.4 is gonna be fine okay so now or even let's reduce reduce it down because we're gonna be adding our windows okay so now it's time to add the windows i'm gonna hit ctrl r to insert my first edge loop also let's make sure that we are uh, covering our reference so let's take this one up this is for our first window over here and let's do the same thing for our second window it's gonna be like this also for the bottom you can see that we're having some windows over here so control R, let's move this one down, control R, take this one up like that. Good. So now let's insert some vertical uh, lines. First one like this. Second one is going to be over here. We can also use the boolean modifier, but there is no need for that. So I'm going to put this one over there and the last one is going to be, I think, over here. Okay, so now let's select these faces. So Z switches back to the wireframe. I think this one first. Let me check. Yes, this one. Oops. Also, we need to add another one on the top. Something like this. And let me select these two. And we have in this face over there. And also this one on the bottom. Let me check. We can hit Z and switch to the wireframe and check. Yep, this one over here. This one on the top and this one. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to take these and hit E and exclude them inside to create an inset. Also, shift tab to disable that snap tool if you're having it activated. There we go. Good. So I'm going to just delete these faces and hit X and delete. Okay, so now it's time to add our uh, windows. But also you can see on the bottom we're having some clipping. So there is no need to keep these faces on the bottom. So X, delete those faces. Also over here I think we're having an extra face. This one, X deleted. Good. Okay, so now let's work off for our uh, windows. So previously we are ac we activated this plugin. Let's give us these windows or key uh, or key mesh. So let's put the cursor again. Sh Alt, Shift S, cursor just selected. Shift A, mesh. It's gonna be or key mesh, and let's bring our real window. There we go. I'm gonna take it from here, move it to the side, spin it on the Z axis by minus nine degree. And let's put it on the right spot. So I'm going to take it down like this. Bring it inside. Okay, so let's make it. Actually, we need to scale it up. So let's scale it way up like this. Not sure about these windows. These windows, they look massive. Okay, insert it like that. But let's find a way to create. Create this one. Archie mesh. Yeah, I would like to insert a new one. Also over here, I'm going to be duplicating this object, this window object. So shift D and GX or GY and let's move it like this. Also we need to expand this uh, frame. So on the Y frame, let's select, I'm going to hit B to box like these and let's move them to the right side like this. Also let's check from the solid view. After that, let's duplicate all of these windows over here. Switch to the wireframe to check that we're selecting everything. I think, yeah, this frame over here we need also to select it. Good. Nice. And Shift D and let's take it to the top. So GZ and let's take it all the way to the top like this. Good. For this one, there is no need to have it. And yeah, I need to keep my face over here. So F to fill that face. And let's do the same thing over here. Hit F and fill that space. Good. Also, there is no need to have it back so let's bring it forward like this all right also let's right click sheet smooth 
and also we need to do this switch the angle okay so now let's add these fences so as you can see we're having two type of fences this first one and this one so this one's going to be really simple all we have to do is to create a cube scale it like this and add that array modifier 50 times so let's do that over here i'm going to put the cursor over here shift s cursor just like it shift a i'm going to start with the cube scale on the z scale shift z and hit point one again scale point, scale shift z so we're doing this scale shift z just so that you can scale like this i don't want to scale it like this so scale shift z and point two all right perfect let's move it to the side over here it hits zero and let's see how well it's aligned with our building move it up scale it down like this and let's move it like that good let me move it to the side and this is going to be our starting point so go to add modifier it's going to be this array modifier and let's uh, put it on the y axis instead of on the x set this one to zero and let's set this one the count to 15 but over here we need to do it minus 1.5 or minus 0.2 let's try minus point minus 2 yeah actually we need to increase it even more also let's go back to our camera perspective and let's match it i believe that something like this is gonna be perfect but as you can see we're not covering covering anything but i'm gonna just increase this one it doesn't matter that much so let's increase it to 50. also over here we need to bring this wall over here so on the top view let me switch to the wireframe hit alt a to deselect everything and let's box like g's let's bring them forward until they are snapped with our first fence all right cool let's bring this one uh, forward or this one let's move it backward a little bit so let's disable that snap tool let's take it down a little bit like this and then we're good to go so our next step is going to be to let's duplicate this object remove the array modifier and spin it air x spin it by 90 degree gonna take it up as you can see over here it's on the back not on the front so let's take it a little bit back like this take it up and scale on the y-axis like this also let's move it to the middle scale x we're good to go so let's make a duplication also let's check check it check it location its location so the first one's gonna be over here shift d and let's move the bottom one like this all right cool okay so our next step is gonna be to create the other type of fence on the other side actually we're having two one on this side and one on the other side of the road so let me start with the obvious one the one on the front of our camera so select this fence shift d let's move it over here move it to the side and basically we need to decrease this amount to something like 15. if you want to make it accurate you can count these and make it the exact same number but in my case there is no need for that i'm gonna scale this one by let's try go with seven and over here i'm gonna reduce this count something like this also let's check it from here to the wireframe let's scale it way down let's move it down like this all right cool so let's scale it even more scale on the z-axis and basically that's it next let's add the bottom part also we need to add these objects these horizontal lines so shift d duplicate this one let's remove that array modifier air x 90 degree smooth it on the middle scale x cover everything all right cool let's move it up also let's i would like to scale it on the x-axis like this shift d move it down there we go and also for our base i'd like to create some kind of a base so shift d let's move this one down like this scale on the x-axis scale even more let's try i'd like to put it right right down like that also let's take this face take it up and let's check it is always have to check our position yeah we're good you can check this one scale it on the x-axis a little bit like this all right cool so let's duplicate this object and move it to the other side so there is no need to bevel these edges so this is just a side uh, side details there is no need to make them that complicated so for this one let's apply that ray modifier and let's join it with these two points we'd like to combine everything into one piece Control j and shift d and let's move it to the other side so let's let's continue so we're having this one after that we can add this sign over here you can add in written text to it let me grab these shift d and i'm going to remove that array modifier scale on the x-axis by 10 all right so let's move it outside over here and let's align it let's align it just like this scale y and i'd like to bring it outside like this so you can add some texture to it later on for now there is no need for that 
We're just blocking these or adding the details over here. Okay, so our last step is gonna be to add this traffic sign that we're having over here. So let's work on it. So Shift S, cursor to select it. Shift A, go to Mesh and Cylinder Shape. I'm gonna scale it way down, scale like this. Also scale on the Z axis by 10. Let's zoom on it, take it up like this. Scale Shift Z even more, make it very tiny. Let me select the top part, hit zero, and let's take it all the way to the top like this. Also let's move it to make it aligned with our, uh, our reference. So on the top over here, I'm gonna do uh, Shift D to duplicate this object, and let's spin it on the Y axis by 90 degree. Let's scale it by 10. Oops, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, 10 is fine. And let's hit E and extrude it outside. You can also cover the pack. Or actually, it has to be like this. Okay, go to Object, Shade Smooth. Cool. So let's go back and check its location. Actually, I don't like this traffic sign that you're having over here. I, I see it. Uh, it looks very tall and I don't like it. So I'd like to go with this one. This one like this. It looks uh, better. Okay, so that's it for our back building details.